Welcome back guys to another Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition video here on my channel. And today we're going to see a ranked matchup between Wasasabi and Mini Mault 21 And Wasasabi is currently on rank 32 and he is playing the Ottomans. And his opponent Mini Mault 21 is currently on rank 11 and he's playing the Chinese. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. We are playing on the map um, Arctic Territories, where we have uh, water around the whole map, but you can't um, build any any docks there or fish anything. So it's just decoration, kind of. And then uh, you have a trade route here on the side. And then here's another ice field where you can walk over. There's another hunt or three hunts here on the side. And then there's another little water pond. And next to that, or how should I say, we don't have any any native settlements with, that you can ally with. Um, yeah. So the Ottoman player is start off with a house. And he's going fully on uh, food at the moment. And um, interestingly, he is not building up uh, his musk so far. Then his opponent, the Chinese player, opened up with a trading post. And yeah, let's see what he's doing here. So he's also, or he's chopping some wood here with uh, four villagers. So he's four on food, four on um, wood. And now we also see that uh, the Ottoman player built a trading post. Very interesting, if you ask me, that uh, Wasasabi is not building a mosque. Both players are trying to get treasures here. The Chinese explorer is going against a polar bear, which has 420 HP, so not the easiest treasure garden. But nonetheless, he got it easily. And now we see the Ottoman player sending his first shipment, and he is sending in the three settlers card. And then next to that, he also has the Silk Road and the Advanced Trading Post um, card. So this card is um, you get more uh, resources from your uh, trading posts. And then uh, Advanced Trading Posts gives trading posts a uh, an attack damage. And hit points are increased by 20% and they cost 40% less wood. Then in H2, we see five villagers and then a lot of resource cards. So he has two resource cards from um, all the resources. And then he has the five Janissaries and three Hussars. And um, in H3, he also has the five Spahis and six Abyssgans. Interesting stuff here. And the Chinese player is sending in the tea export. I think he already sent the northern refugees. But I'm not sure. And the Ottoman player is now going up. He's going up with uh, the quartermaster. Chinese player. Wants to build his consulate, but uh, the Shiroki rifleman um, is standing on the construction site here. So he deleted it and placed it somewhere else. Now we see the second trading post um, going up for the Ottoman. Now Wasasabi building up another house. And the Chinese warrior is chasing down this uh, Shiroki rifleman. And, oh my god, look at this name here. I date my double cousin. But, uh, okay. I'm not gonna ask any more questions to that, but... Uh, interesting stuff. Now Wasasabi 
is aging up at this moment. So he got the 400 wood from the quartermaster up, uh, age up. And he still um, has not built his mosque. So this is uh, very interesting for me. Maybe he will build it now, but uh, let's see. Then on the other side, um, the Chinese player is of course going up with the Summer Palace. And he is also researching on his consulate. Um, he's allied with the Russians. He got now his blockhouse wagon up. And Wasasabi is now sending in 700 wood. And he's also researching the stagecoach. Same time, he's trying to herd in these moves. And on the other side, Minimalt 21 is kind of chilling in his base here. Now we see the first batch of five Janissaries attacking the trading post from the Chinese player. The Chinese player is now cancelling his uh, relation. And he's sending in 700 wood as well. And he has his uh, summer palace on uh, the free standard army. And now we see a batch of step riders and chokunus. And they go forward. They try to save the trading post. But they come too late. Now, next shipment is coming in. Eight uh, Chukonus. Another village being built by Minimalt. And on the other side, Wasasabi just sent in 700 coin. The Chinese player is not allowing Wasasabi to build his trading post here. He is with his whole army here. Now the Chinese player is rebuilding the trading post. And now we also see Abus guns in queue for Wasasabi. And he's following um, his next shipment. 600 coin he's sending in. Not a standard army. In queue. Now Apes guns arrive in the battle. But the step riders go forward and try to connect. And they do. Now Janissaries come in and probably go to melee mode. Yes, they do. Now they can clean up these step riders. They do a, a good job with that. Um, only three Abus guns survived. But the Chinese player has more reinforcements coming. Now you see he's allying with the Germans and he's also sending in the seven step riders. 
And Chinese player secures himself 45 XP from the Explorer. Switch over to the Ottoman player. Now we see 700 food being shipped in. Some villagers. Go, out, go over here to get these musk ox. These step riders try to connect again, but uh, they just walk into the big swords of these janissaries. But in the back line, the Chukonus help out. It looks like he's losing all of his step riders here. And it was pretty even here. And now also the Ottoman player has reinforcements. It's like, uh, yeah. Back and forward here. All the time. Both players are still in H2 so far. And they are not aiming to get to H3 it looks like. And we also see that uh, <laughs> here's an artillery foundry on this little hilltop here. Interesting stuff. And then he has a kind of a forward base with his barrack. His barracks. And um, yeah, the Chinese player now walking over here. But he doesn't have uh, enough units. So far. Now a few pikemans came in from the home city. And now he's trying to connect. And he's attacking from all the sides. And it looks still pretty even. Those uh, Genesaries obviously have 210 HP compared to these uh, Chuko Nus, which only have 90 XP, so they are way more tanky, these channel series. So that's why um, the Chinese player just lost his fight here. Now we also see uh, a score difference from uh, 1000 um, points. And now the trading post went down. And the Ottoman player is now walking towards the base of Minimalt 21. But another standard army being popped, but they walk straight into the um into the fire of these Abyss Guns and Janissaries. So uh, he lost them straight there. A little bit of a misplay or didn't pay enough attention. Now we see uh, standing in uh, the Mandarian Duck Squad, which costs 500 um, food and it delivers 8 Chukonus and 1 Flamethrower. So a Flamethrower is something that he, um, he could really need in this fight. Um, same time, I think I just missed a little raid from these two Step Riders. And the Chinese player is now trying to stack up his army again. And he's firing here from the side. Now the ultimate player is backing up again. And now we see the third training post going up for the ultimate player. 
But obviously, uh, the Chinese player wants to deny it. Yeah, unfortunately, these step riders don't have that much HP, so most of the time they get picked up before they even are able to connect, so that's unfortunate. But now we see the flamethrower. And the flamethrower is dwindling down the HP of this trading post very quickly. Let's switch over to Wasasabi. Meanwhile, Wasasabi went to H3. And the War Academy is being replaced here. Good job here with the, the villagers. He just put them in the blockhouse and then just sent them out again. So he's not wasting any time. Really pro play here. Oh, we still see these uh, two step riders on uh, this trading post, but now the Ottoman player called the militiamen to finally deal with them. And Wasasabi is standing here. And now going forward towards the base of um, Minimalt 21. But the army of Minimalt is behind the army of Wasasabi. Now we also see the Chinese player going up and he's going up with the Confucian, Confucian Academy. It looks like the War Academy is going down again. And Wasasabi now sending in five SARS. And he has some more Ebus guns in queue. More, and re more reinforcements here in this fight for the Osman player. But uh, yeah, the Ottoman player is also under fire from the town center and the blockhouse, so... Difficult spot for him to fight here. But the Hussars, um, which are coming in at the moment, would definitely be a good help against these two canoes. step riders burning down the next trading post here they come the five hussars they are probably probably cleaning up all of these step riders easily and uh mini malt is not even doing anything against it now we see a few uh disciplined arquebusiers And Wasasabi is ready for the next push. Now another town center is being built from Mini Mount 21. And the Chinese player is really fighting underneath his base and now is calling these sentries which, which are having a perfect um, pop onto these Hussars. They, but they are just able to pick one up and now uh, the uh, Chang Daos are went, came in from the hometown and now on the back line. And we also see the flamethrower doing his work. And it looks like the Chinese player is definitely winning this fight here. 
even though all of the Chang Daos are being deleted here. More reinforcements for Wasasabi. But uh, yeah, we see that uh, the Chinese player has kind of the better unit composition here against these Janissaries. Because here they have a uh, ranged range resistance and a multiplier against heavy infantry. But now Wasasabi is mixing in a few Abus guns again. Now we see that the Chinese player is now mixing in say, one territorial army with more arquebusiers and Chang Daos. And then he is also producing one black flag army. And now he's sending in the five uh, meteor hammers. Strong card against artillery. But we don't see any artillery so far from from Wasasabi. And as I say it, um, here come the two falconets. So uh, perfectly timed. Or a good, uh, good sense for what uh, the opponent is is bringing into the fight now. But Minimalt is prepared. And Wasasabi rebuilt his trading posts. Now wanted to rebuild this one as well, but uh, um, the Chinese player is denying this. Now the army from Wasasabi is coming in. They run down the hill here. And Minimalt is already waiting for him here on the battlefield. And he sees that he's bringing in Falconet, so he's putting them around the corner. And I think Wasasabi is still not seeing them. Now we see a few Meteor Hoimers coming in for the side. Good, good uh, tactic here. He, uh, um, yeah, he pushed he uh, pushed him over here, and then he came from the side. So good strategy here. And uh, it looks like a full cleanup, and his Janissaries are getting wrecked here. And uh, that's why uh, Wasasabi called it a game here. Um, a very good finish move here from from uh, Minimalt. Very impressive. So he just showed his units here. Uh, also few Meteor Hammers and uh, the Chung Daos. And uh, so Wasasabi was afraid that they are going to connect onto these Falconets. So he pulled the Janissaries over here. And at the same time, the uh, Meteor Hammer badge come over from or came into the battle from the side. And so uh, they... They got completely surrounded by all the Chinese players. And um, very strong play here from Minimalt. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye.